committee for their kind invitation. To be honest, this is my first experience. Uh, I have attended lots of congress in my field, but uh, I'm very excited today. Initially, I haven't understood why I am here and uh, why they invited me. Conversely, however, <coughs> as I am a plastic surgeon and I am out of academic platform and trade, health services, trade, health services, a lot of relations with trade. Briefly, let me introduce you what I am doing in my field. As you are aware, I am a plastic surgeon and last eight years, I focused only body surgeries, particularly liposuction. I don't know if anybody interested. <laughs> last four years, I provide advanced training programs to my colleagues because of my experience. Therefore, doctors who come from different countries, they are learning new techniques. As well, they hone their skills with me. I also export my services in different countries. As we know, International trade means the exchange of capital, goods, and services across international borders and territories. Export is an emerging trend, mostly when people talk about the trade. They only focus on goods, but why they forget about the services? Today, I will focus on services, which I do. Do you know that the fastest growing types of export are services? A service export is any service provided by a resident in one country to people or companies from another. Trade in goods are easy. It's shipping around the world. Services is difficult to understand. It's intangible. You may find that communicating a service offer is more difficult than communicating a product. A lot of companies are getting profit in export services and several trends make sure export service will grow rapidly. Nowadays, services export is in an emerging trend in global. A service export is very simply any service provided by a resident in one country to people or companies from another. A lot of companies provide different services. How companies give franchise to other countries? The IT sector has played a vital role in providing services from one country to another country. Today, we all are connected with social networks such as Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, LinkedIn around the world. In my medical sector, we get a report about patients located in another country and we guided them from through the internet. Many services are exported but never cross any physical boundaries. This may sound confusing, but here I would like to give you some examples. A local tailor creates a suite for a foreign visitor Foreign visitor books hotels, tours, and the rental car while visiting in any country through Make My Trip and many other companies who provide core and supplementary information. All of these are considered exports because they are provided by a service provider in one country to an individual or company in another country. Today is a digital market consumer behavior has been changed. Consumer mind, mindset has changed from mall to mobile through online purchasing, sitting at home. We order a lot of goods from the domestic market and the global market. All these goods are provided by services at our door. Many companies are already exporting services without realizing it. 
If you have shared your computer screen with someone outside your country via Skype, for example, to solve a problem together, you have export services. If you have presented an informational webinar and any of the participants were located outside, your home country service has been exported during the webinar. Another practical example is, I will not go far in your conference, this is a facility to present your paper through video, we saw previously. You can express your views without arriving the place. These all, these all are export services. Not more, but least, I would like to conclude my words in one sentence. <coughs> exporting services less risky than exporting goods because they don't have to pass different procedures like customs, transporting, shipping, financial policies, etc. Once again, I would like to uh, say a big thank you, Mr. Kirshad, who invited me here. And uh, it's a great pleasure for me. I'm really honored. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>